Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. This is your August monthly reading and I am so excited because we're in Leo season and I cannot wait to see what the energy is going to be like for you. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much. Please subscribe so you know when new videos um, are published or live or whatever you call it. Um, if you're a return subbie, thank you so much. I always appreciate the comments, the likes, everything that you do to support this channel and myself. Um, so I'm going to be pulling an oracle card and then pulling energy around money, career, love, um, communication, just overall energy for the month, and then a card for each week just to see what's going on with you, Capricorn. So let's see what's happening, Capricorn. And I shuffled quite a bit offline, but I just need to shuffle a little bit more. So bear with me, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. One more. <clears throat> Capricorn, what's going on? Capricorn. Interesting. Loneliness. It says, I never I know that I am never alone. I'm gonna pull one more, okay? I just Capricorn, I just feel like I need to. Okay, abundance. So, well, that is not surprising, Capricorn. So it says, I'm living, I'm a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Capricorn, you are notorious for putting a lot or most of your energy into your work. Financial stability is really important for you. You know, making sure that your career is on a trajectory growth pattern is really important to a lot of Capricorns. Making that coin is important to Capricorns. Sometimes that is a lonely approach at times because you are going at it and, and very heads down. So for some of you, you might be not running out of steam, but you just might start to realize like, hey, I do want to start to experience life and share my life um, you know, with somebody that I care about, whether that's family, friends, a lover, whatever the case is. So for some of you that is starting to become a realization that, hey, maybe I need to have more balance um, that I can share my life and um, create memories and, and because you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't get to share it with somebody or experience it with somebody that you really care about or people that you care about, it's kind of like, you know, what'd you do it for, you know? So let's, and I would say that this is the time to have, like, to stop and smell the roses and to also, um, creating memories is really important, Capricorn. I don't know why I start to keep saying that, but taking time out and spending time with people that you appreciate is important this month. So let's just pull Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. One more. Capricorn, Capricorn for August. What do we need to know? Okay. <clears throat> wow, we've been getting this card a ton lately. Okay. Yeah, so um bottom of the deck we got five of cups so for some of you it's kind of having a reminiscing that you know hey I've made you know hard choices and I've made um decisions to go a certain direction in life and that is maybe more um around financial stability and that I've chosen not to maybe keep or stay in certain relationships or foster or maintain certain relationships that can be across the board that doesn't have to be just be a love relationship it can be losing touch with some really good friends or you know not talking to your family as much or not having as much time with your kiddos um and, and even deciding that certain relationships were maybe holding you back from your full potential um so this is trying not to live in the past capricorn Remember that even though that things you made decisions and things happened, they've happened. Learn the lesson and understand that you can change any type of behavior or pattern or how you feel at any point. There's still two cups, so there's still a lot of opportunity. I think that you just need to kind of take a step back and see where in your life and who in your life that you need to reconnect and rekindle with, okay? So, in the money zone, Eight of Pentacles, hard at work behind the scenes. Capricorn, I feel like if that is that would be your tagline, <laughs> like working hard behind the scenes, hustling. Um, this is also about really putting a lot of time and effort into work and career because you're trying to learn a new skill set. 
trying to cultivate a new talent aligning to maybe or trying to find the right mentor or somebody coming in your life that is a mentor or someone is a coach or a teacher that can really help you get from point A to point B um, in the fastest, most effective way possible. Um, for a lot of you, this is getting like a license or there's something that you're dealing that takes a lot of like focus and it's a lot of paperwork and a lot of, you know, fine tuned details. So there is a rhyme and reason, Capricorn, why for a lot of you, you've been putting a lot of effort and focus and you might feel a little bit more standoffish and maybe a little lonely. Um, there's a difference between feeling alone and lonely, by the way. So um, I do think that you just need to communicate that. But people around you would understand. I think you just need to share. And Capricorn, a lot of times you're so busy and you're head down and you're so diligent that you don't explain what's going on in your life. Um, in career, you have the high priestess. Now, this can be where some of this really hard work is coming in. Um, and this, even though it was kind of, Eight of Pentacles, I feel like is also you trying to build funds for something, grow your financial, your, your financial um, portfolio, and you're working really hard to do that in the background. But the high priestess is all about things that are hidden that are gonna come up to the surface. It's like you learn a lot from being in the shadows and the darkness. You learn a lot about yourself. So I think for many of you, you're starting to emerge. Um, you know, Capricorn, I feel like maybe you've outgrown a position or a company. I feel like there's some things that are starting to come up to the level of understanding that you're just like, you know what, I don't know if this is the right thing for me or maybe it is and I need to kind of start to align myself more strategically. Um, the high priestess is, is also asking you to take a more spiritual approach, metaphysical approach. For some of you, it's maybe getting a reading um, to kind of help give you direction, like what type of industry or job would be the best suited for you. Because it's not just about making money, it's also about being happy what you're doing. Um, I feel like though, when I say spiritual, I do think that it's something that you need to put your time and effort and build a career that makes you happy that it doesn't feel like work. Um, that maybe you have like instant gratification or that you feel like you're helping people. So the long hours and the time it takes to learn a skill or to, to get certified or a license or to have the degree or whatever the case is, it's like it's all worth it because I see that I'm helping people. It could be something like that. Capricorn, I do feel like there is, it's almost like you kind of re-emerging back, how do I say this? It's almost like you're emerging into the person that you're meant to be professionally. Um, for a lot of you, this could have been a, um, taking a step back and maybe even aligning with like a, a professional coach, as a life coach, I think that there's been something that you're working on pretty diligently in the background and it's like you're ready to emerge, almost like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Um, I think maybe at some point career-wise you're ready to, for some of you you're trying to emerge on like your own, um, like a consulting, like a consultant or something like that, like you're trying to like go out on your own, venture out. Um, and it's just getting everything like set up so you feel confident that you can like go. I don't know. Capricorn, there's a lot going on in career. I'm going to be interested. Leave a comment if you, if this resonates. So love or romance, um, we got the king of pentacles. I think for a lot of you, um, you're really looking for a relationship that is very mature, stable. It's almost like you don't have almost like to a point where like you're coasting a little bit that you're not having to put a ton of work into it um because you're so focused in other areas you're also looking for someone who or with someone who's very much stable and mature in their life so it's not like you holding all the weight on your shoulders to carry the relationship like financially or emotionally or even at a maturity level, like you're very much like equals in that sense. There's like no gender roles, I get the impression. But Capricorn, you still like to run things. Like, let's let's be honest. Um, you know, if you are in a relationship, I do feel it's like 
you do need to explain what's going on if you're spending a lot of time career wise and you know away from your partner or the relationship like you need to explain i do feel like your your partner your person your spouse is gonna understand they just want to be a part of the discussion um so you not making decisions without them it's like it's a partnership it's they almost it's almost like you guys um it's almost like you feel like you're in business together almost and you may not be but it's like your relationship is so ingrained in so many ways that you like they're invested in your career just as much as you are um if you're single i would say that this is i mean you're definitely it's not that so much you're looking because the king doesn't really have to chase her the king aligns and the king is at a point where it's like look I'm at where I'm at. I like what I do. I am not going to change. I need somebody who's going to be on board with that. Um, this is, I think you're taking a very rational approach to relationships. You're not just willing to put your energy into any, like any one or jump into any, like just fling. Like you're being very, very, you know, um, discerning on who you spend time with. Um, this is somebody who, like, I, I would say, like, if they don't have, if they don't have their shit in order, like, you're not even going to give them the time of day. Not this month. Like, there's too much writing on, on other areas, like your career and money. I feel like it's like you want someone who is going to level up or be where you're at or exceed because it's like you're not going to, you're not going to settle. Um, communication. So four of wands, really nice, very, you know, communication is going to flow. I feel like how you communicate is, you know, you really want to come off very, um, understanding, compassionate. Um, I think it's also reassuring that people, that things are going to be better. Like there's always kind of this positive spin and outlook. That's really what the four of wands is. It's happiness. It's stability, it's compassion, it's, you know, really um, having the ability to, you know, be stable and grounded. And I feel like how you communicate this month is, I think you're going to give a lot of people hope without realizing it or inspire people. Um, you're going to, it's almost because you're such a self-starter and self-motivated person, Capricorn, that's like your story or your advice or your tidbits or your response is gonna light a fire under people's asses and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, yes, if I can do it and that's what they're doing and they're consistent and they're diligent and dedicated, I can do it too. So Capricorn, I feel like you're gonna be, you know, a resource and kind of like this source of knowledge for a lot of people this month. Um, you may not expect it, but I do feel people are just, dr excuse me, gravitated toward you. Let me take a drink. <laughs> I get caught in mouth when I read like I need I need a, a drink or two sometimes first week we got seven of wands seven of wands is um, very much standing up for yourself standing um, up for something standing up for an idea I do feel like for a lot of you like this behind the scenes work and and focusing on getting everything organized especially around your money your finances um, making sure that everything is like where it needs to be I feel like, you know, you're going to have to put people in place a little bit this first week and say, and this is what I was talking about communication wise. You might need to explain to family and friends or people that you care about or colleagues or whoever. It's not that you're, you want to be alone. It's not so much that, or, you know, it's like I'm busy and I'm working, but you need to communicate that because people are going to create their own conclusions and maybe there could be problems that arise that aren't even an issue, but you need to just like draw the line in the sand and say, look, I'm really busy this next couple of weeks. Let's catch up, you know, maybe beginning of September or, you know, I have a weekend, but I just like maybe brunch or getting coffee, but don't, don't cut people off. Explain what's going on. Um, but it's okay. You don't need to feel bad that you're, you're focusing on yourself when you're working really hard. Like you have a lot of success on the horizon. It's just that not everybody is a grinder like you Capricorn. They're just not. So, um, second week you got page of swords right under this, um, high priestess energy. I, so the second week, I feel like people are going to try to figure out what you're up to, especially career and business, whether you work for someone or you're solo entrepreneur, whatever the case is, 
Page of Swords is, is leveraging technology. For some of you, it can be entering into the technology innovative type of industry. Um, social media is gonna be huge, so leverage as much technology as you can, build a brand that way. Um, don't be scared to get your face out there, but for some people, they're gonna be like wondering what you're up to and they might be looking in and trying to figure out, oh, what's so-and-so, what's Capricorn doing? I haven't heard about them, or they're really quiet these days, or you know, they're, they're gonna start to try to dig. Um, but I do feel for like you, social media, um, technology, photography, whatever it is, like you need to show what you're doing, if it's ready to show, obviously. But you know, the second week, like build a plan, um, because if you're gonna emerge and really kind of show what you're doing and show yourself and like bring things to light, you need to have like this visual appeal to it. Third week, we got the star card, which is right under this amazing King of Pentacles. So the star card is always hope, prosperity, a wish coming true. Things are aligning. I feel like because Capricorn, you are, you know, very good at manifesting and you are, I think you need to take the ideology and the practice that you put into your career and work and money and use that for love and relationships. Now, this third week, all I can tell you is that the star card is about starting to understand that what you say and how you feel comes back to you, right? So this King of Pentacles is like being very methodical, being very, you know, clear in your intentions. And the star card is also ruled by Aquarius. Aquarius is all about the future. And I think for a lot of you, you're kind of looking at your future very seriously and trying to manifest and align that. And it's not about chasing, it is about kind of grounding yourself and, you know, centering and getting in alignment to what's already meant for you to come in. Um, but this is also balancing. This is about making decisions without so much emotion. Capricorn, not that you do anyway, but it's like you're being um, ultra conservative on your approach and you're really removing um, emotion because you don't want to leave room for error. I don't know why that is coming out, but it is. Um, fourth week, we got Knight of Cups right under that four of wands. So, you know, at the end of the month, I feel like maybe there's a little bit lighter energy with the, the Knight of Cups. I think maybe you're going to be willing to, you know, share some of your time and maybe have a reach out to friends and loved ones or people that you care about. Maybe kind of express yourself a little bit more. This certainly could mean a potential relationship is on the horizon, maybe at the end of the month. But one thing I will tell you is that you know, Capricorn, you're very clear on what you want and what you don't want. So if this person is not, if they're just going to come in for a good time, because like you have all the boxes checked for them, you might kind of pass this person up. But for a lot of you, I think the end of the month is going to be a little bit lighter energy for you. And you're willing to like share, you know, your, your time and energy and, um, explain a little bit more why you've been MIA. Um, let's see. This is also about, um, maybe feeling like you're riding a little bit of a high that you like are ready to like share and express to the world like things that you've been working on that you've been caring about putting so much tender loving care into something um that you're ready to kind of like express it and that you're really proud of it so capricorn it's been an absolute pleasure reading for you please subscribe so you know when new videos come out and then also follow me on tiktok and instagram because i post there quite a bit have a wonderful wonderful rest of the month and i will speak to you very soon